Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. Please go to facebook.com slash syntax technologies and like my page so you can get all the latest information about SQL accounting software and my company. In today's lesson, I'll share with you the second transaction in customer module, which is payment. So when a customer make payment to you, you need to go here, click new, select the customer. Remember, when you select customer, just key in the name will do. If when you key in the name, it does not appear, it's because the column highlighted is not company name, maybe currency. So what you need to do, just click at the tab key, tab, 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 and jump to company name. So you can go back to company name. So as normal, you just key in the date, the pay amount. Let's say it's 1000 ringgit. You can select receive in back cash. So what is the check number? MVB. Okay, then you just click at the invoice that you want to knock off. Let's say it's a partially payment for an invoice. Maybe 1000 ringgit for this invoice. You just want to pay 300. Another 200 maybe is for this is 100. Rest go for others. Maybe this one. So you see. 1000 ringgit pay separate into three invoices to be knocked off, save, and you can preview. So, you can directly print out the official receipt with the check number, receipt number, date, amount paid, which invoice to be knocked off, and then you can convert to PDF directly and email to your customer. Okay, there are two interesting things about customer payment. The first one is, let's say it's a PD check, post data check. What you can do is, you just set the date over here is the day he paid the payment and right click at any empty space. You can set the posting. This is the actual date for the check. Maybe it's 0109. So then it will automatically become a PD check. One thing to take note is the system will automatically do the double entry for this check on this date. E regardless, you have to really bank into the bank account or not. Another, a setback to today's date. Another thing is, let's say you the check is bounced, so you can come back to the same payment, set the bounce status, take bounce, okay, it become a bounce check. things that you may take note is let's say this is a payment for a particular project over receive in the right hand side you can actually select which project to be paid if one check paid to different project then you need to do this which is over here you select a project Maybe the check is called MVP one three one thousand ringgit. Save. You say check number already received. Exist. Do you want to save? Yes. And you need to do another addition because there's only one check, but it's separate into three payments. 
when actual bank statement come over this three is actually will be combined to one so what you need to do is you need to right click at empty space open bank deposit new bank slip number you just put maybe the check number then you search you get the three payment with the same check number so you just click at this three okay save so when you do bank reconciliation later you will see that it will actually combine the three payment into one so it will tally back with your actual bank statement so this is how customer payment in SKL accounting system work anything you can contact me with this information i'm brian from cx technologies thank you